Welcome back to Better Living. Well, it's lunchtime and I have Tony Paco's hot dogs. It doesn't get any better. When I first came to Toledo, I was told it's a piece of history. You've got to get to Tony Paco's. Well, now I'm joined by Tony Paco Jr., who has grown up in this business, I am Sorry. sure. So you guys have been featured on MASH. You have been asked to send your hot dog, your coney sauce to space, for heaven's sakes. You are history. Tell me what started Tony Paco's. Well, it started in 1932 by my parents, Tony and Rose. And all, a number of my family members, my uncles, were in that business as well. But it, it really was a, a saloon slash bar that served food. And the food happened to be very good. And it was from the Hungarian origins. And since then, uh, many years, we've developed a lot of different products with the same recipes, this continued the same quality and it's grown into uh, quite an institution. Well, I want to talk about more than just the food in a minute because you can get quite the history lesson when you come in and see lots of celebrity things. But let's talk about the food. What all, we all know about the hot dogs that you can get when you come to Tony Paco's. Ooh, these have been, these are cold. They yes. just come out of the just, refrigerator. Just of the and food. just for the record, they're going straight to my office um, <laughs> when we leave here. How can I keep them cold all day? I'm oh. gonna have to think about that. Yeah, yeah. Because if I put them in the refrigerator, someone will steal them. So, um, let's, you know you can get hot dogs, but that's not all you can get at Tony Paco's. Let's talk about all the different food items that you guys offer. Well, we, there's a number of different items that we offer. Uh, stuffed cabbage, which is mm. a traditional Hungarian dish. Chicken paprikash, which, again, is the same, but there's probably more served in the United States of that than there is in Hungary, because it's that familiar. And a lot of the food that has evolved with our recipes, our chili, the soups that we have are very traditional. And we're able to do that by uh, centralizing our kitchen area and having one location. Mm. And it, that is the consistency that people want and would like is to have the same kind of taste that they've always been associated with over a number of years. And I, I really have to say that it, the other part of the business that is really something to speak to our s staff is the amount of years of the loyalty of, of the employees and the de dedication. Without them, there wouldn't be a Tony Paco's. Well, and you do have people that have been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. So it, it's friendly when I come in. I'm going to see the same people that I saw mm -hmm. uh, two weeks ago or a year ago. It's going to be the same people waiting on me. Exactly. And that, that, for sure, that has been the, the case all, all along. It's the people coming to Toledo, uh, or I'm, I'm sorry, the people that live in Toledo know the staff, and they mm -hmm. come not just for the food and for the uh, buns on the wall, which there happens to be quite a, yes. quite a few of those on the wall, but this, you know, the level of service that they're going to receive. Well, let's talk about the buns on the wall, <laughs> which is just a fun statement to make, buns on the wall. Let's talk about that because it is an experience when you come to your locations because you guys have a lot to look at. You have a lot of celebrities that have come in and they sign buns and you, and by mm -hmm. buns, we mean hot dog buns, and you put those on the wall, don't you? Yes. They're, well, now they're encased in plastic, but they were in the beginning of a real bun we realized very shortly that that's not good. Yes. And so we had a gentleman make them in the shape of that and they uh, you know, hold up for quite a long time. But we've had somewhere in the vicinity of 4,000 buns that have been signed by different celebrities over the years, presidents, prime ministers, um, actors, and as of late, the that's most right, recent- I was just gonna bun, ask what this is. Amario Batali was ah. on the Chew show. Yeah and he was making a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich and and when he was making it he said you know we're using tony packles pickles so uh, it was great to see that and i asked him if he would sign a bun which he did and on the bun it says uh, spaghetti is heaven or, or spaghetti is love tony packles is heaven and then he signed my spoon that i use uh, pasta pasta with his signature here how fun it is an experience for sure. Let's talk about all the um, locations that you have, mm -hmm. first of all, here in our area. We have one in the original location yes. in East Toledo, downtown across the street from the Mud Hens, Paco's at the Park. Also, we have two inside um, the Talmadge 
uh, Andersons and in the Maumee Andersons. And then this time of year especially, people can do catering. You yes. do catering for parties, holiday parties, birthday parties, whatever they would like. Yes, we have catering that we started about 10 years ago and it, it's still growing. That We have parties of as small as 15, as large as 5,000. You know, so we can fit any size, any place, anywhere, at any price. Well, Tony Pacos, it is a Toledo, Northwest Ohio institution, and it's a lot of fun. It is an experience for sure, and the food is fantastic. So check out one of the Tony Paco locations today and call them for your next party because what better? Hot dogs, pickles, coney sauce, all the other stuff for your next party. That would be a great holiday. Yes. Who needs turkey on Thanksgiving? We'll be right back on Better Living.